There we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to 360, the 7th of March. I can't believe that, of course. Another week down the tubes. Um, like I said, this is recorded. We will put it on the YouTube channels right after it renders. Uh, depends on how long it runs. Uh, Mr. Bifaro does have the link. And if he can be here and has something to tell us, he will be here. In the meantime, we will go over what's been going on and uh, try to update you for the week like Red always does. Uh, in fact, I'm going to turn it over to Red now and then I'll come in after the fact. If, are you good, Red? Are you you ready to go? Okay. I'm ready to go. All right, go for it. Okay, thank you very much. Hello, Marty, and hello, Chris. Nice to see Back Scratcher is in use. There you go. Fantastic. Okay, guys, uh, let's get you up to date then. And seven days in on Passive, as always on 360, we do a bit of a recap of what's happened over the last seven days. And luckily, as uh, 360 is on Thursday, again this week, uh, it was on Thursday last week. So let's go all the way back to the 29th of February, which was last Thursday. And we were very lucky uh, to have um, not only uh, Ash Mafara on our 360, he brought us up to date. If you remember, he came on towards the end, actually, over there. Um, we were also given another 10-day extension on our O Connect. And it was really interesting that when Ash came on, actually, um, he was given us a bit of information about what had been going on. But more importantly, he said he didn't want to divulge too much information on 360. Why? Because the next day he was going to be doing a scheduled webinar, um, which was a collaboration between uh, Let's O with Ron Holbert and Minu Miller as well. And he set that time out. Uh, the notes from our 360 last Thursday were posted out super quick into your O Founders updates section. And you could go ahead and read them from there. So Friday, the 1st of March came around then. Uh, lots happened actually Friday. Uh, we had a new uh, OES uh, update in uh, for Android. That's on your mobile devices. Uh, if you want to know what the latest one is uh, for Android, it should be 1.0.4.5 now, guys. And if you're on iOS, which is Apple, any device, uh, it is 1.0.9 and you can check if you're up to date simply by opening up your mobile OES app. OK, there's three dashes to the top left hand corner of your app. If you click on that, you'll see on passive and to the right of that, it'll have a V, which is version and it will have that number there on Android 1.0.4.5 or if you're on iOS Apple, it will say 1.0.9. That was updated on Friday 1st of March. Also, guys, uh, Friday the 1st, we had a new pop-up in your uh, ecosystem, and that was to give the link for Let's O for Ron Alberts and Minus and uh, the time for that. So uh, the night time, it was on quite late, really, for the UK, for you guys over in the States, if you remember. And for me, it was 2 a.m. Uh, in the Saturday morning. But it was an absolute fantastic uh, um, webinar, in my opinion. It gave us a lot of insight into the journey that Ashmi Farah has taken as far as on passive is concerned. A few more pieces of the puddle, puzzle were added. And a lot of the things he was saying sort of connected in with trials, tribulations, bumps in the road, etc., to give us a lot more of a, an idea, really, of what he's been going through. Also on Friday, we had a 14-day extension to O-Tracker uh, as well on Friday the 1st. So Saturday, the notes were posted pretty quickly into your uh, O-Founders update section. Uh, very long, uh, very concise, well done on our quartet uh, for getting those out uh, extremely uh, quickly, which is uh, Janet, Daryl, Dan and Peter. They all do an extremely good job, guys, for you 
to get these notes out because if you miss the live, the written notes are there a lot quicker than the recordings if they come out. And obviously, uh, Marty, Chris and myself do our own style of recap as well. Um, also, on Saturday, uh, we had a repost by Mohammed uh, Nassal on X. And that was a repost of one of the on passive posts. And this was actually the... Um, what the video that um, Ashma Farah showed on Let's O, if you remember, this is the video that they used uh, to explain one year in on passive. Uh, and that was put out there and it was also reshared by Mohammed Nassal as well. Also, guys, then we came to um, Sunday. Sunday was, from our point of view, a quiet day. Not much went on on Sunday. But Monday, sure as eggs is eggs, there it was once again, brand new website. And we've gone back to the dark blues, light blues. Uh, if you look at Chris's hat, he's got on right now. Uh, that is the colour theme that we had or we have at the moment on our brand new website. Go and uh, check it out. Have a look. Some really good animations in the background. That's at onpassive.com. That came out on the 4th of March. And we also had a new video from O Media, and this was January in review. If you haven't seen that yet, go and check it out. It's a concise review of what's been going on uh, specifically from, from O Media's point of view, and that was uh, brought out on Monday. Uh, so what happened on Tuesday? Well, I'll tell you what happened on Tuesday. Facebook crashed for a while, didn't it? Didn't it cause a bit of a stir? That's for sure. Um, but also from uh, from uh, on Passive's point of view, the main news from Tuesday the 5th was the start of the largest police summit in the world. And that started on um, March the 5th uh, on Passive, our media partners for this event. And if you haven't seen them yet uh, on many of the YouTube channels, they've been having uh, very concise videos that have been pushing out. Uh, for this event, it's going extremely well. It is where all of the heads of police departments, they have come together, they brainstorm, they talk about not only uh, policing techniques, but also uh, crime prevention, new um, equipment that they're using, etc. It's what it is the place that they all come to to see what the new and evolving uh, policing techniques across the world are and how each individual police forces are using them. And uh, on Passive are very proud to be the media partners for this event. Uh, Wednesday then we saw uh, day two of the police summit and also uh, 360 uh, was changed from Wednesday to today. And the link for this was posted very quickly in the back office. Uh, and that was uh, posted out by our very own Marty DeGarmo. And here we are on day uh, Thursday the 7th, guys. This is day three of the, and the last day of the police summit. And uh, not much else to bring to the table, except for there is new videos of the police summit coming out at the moment. I've put one on our channel and there is at the other. Uh, that's it for me, seven days in on passive always something going on guys that's for sure uh, just because we don't particularly see it ourselves they are beavering away in the background for the benefit of all of us that's it over to you marty beautiful yeah i was like there goes seven days i can't believe it's another seven days uh but like red said though while all that's going on no matter what's going on in our lives and as you know the last few days i have been under the weather chris too i don't know how we got each other sick. We're 1,500 miles apart. But anyway, uh, but even during that time, um, Passive keeps chugging along. They're building for us. They're branding for us. They're, it, it's amazing. I, I go around on Facebook sometimes and I'm seeing where uh, Dr. Tarek is signing something with um, Professor Susan. I don't know all the details of it, but it just goes to show that things are moving ahead daily if not hourly, in our behalf. And, you know, I was thinking about on, on the live, we talked about the gratitude I have towards something like this going on for me and my family 
when, you know, I mean, there's no way could I do this on my own, right? I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to do this branding or any anything like this where you could tie this many people together and build something this monstrous. So it's pretty cool. And it's, uh, it's really a good feeling to know, no matter what's going on with us, that uh, the, the company just keeps chugging along. And like Red said last Friday, when Ash did come on, O'Ron and um, Minnow, it was pretty powerful. For me, it was, uh, you get a chance to go watch it. You can read about it, but the, it's out there. I would watch it um, to know that no matter what we think about our hard waiting, uh, what he went through, I just can't imagine. I can't imagine anybody going through something like that. And for, for us, right? I mean, half or three quarters of the headaches for the company would, wouldn't even be there if it wasn't that they were trying to bring a whole million dollar million person family with them and uh so that's that's the big difference and no matter what they keep chugging along um do or die we gotta believe that i mean we see it every day i mean there's proof and i'm really I have more gratitude than, than you could even explain, and uh, I always want to put that ahead. I'm also, I was thinking about all the people behind the scenes that a lot of people, faces have come and gone in the last five years, but some of you stayed there every day, no matter what. And, and maybe you don't have the platform that myself, Chris, and Red have, but you matter. Remember that. You matter. You're a brick, you're a brick in this wall. Without one brick, it, it, it falls. So really, uh, I appreciate all of you. I know both both the guys here do. And I know without a doubt that Ash does because he, he says it. So keep doing what you're doing. I, I see people being inspired to do things that they would maybe never do. Um, Ivy Nix just wrote me. She's going for a doctor's degree now. I believe she said she's in her upper 50s. I mean, that's pretty cool. If you're inspired to do something like that because of Unpassive, that's mind-blowing. That's just unbelievable. And I believe people, after the little bit of shake-up with Facebook, which was kind of funny, I just figured it, it was me on my computer, but it, it makes you think that you need to you need to start focusing on you. And what you can do. Like right now, it doesn't hurt if you have a, a passion or something you love or something you care about. Get in on that and create a, 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 a club that interests you. And you're thinking, well, what's it matter? Listen, I've said this to a lot of people, and I mean this. I'm not doing things like on YouTube and all that for today. I'm doing it for tomorrow. I'm doing it for next week. I'm doing it for next year. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing it for as days to come. Don't build daily. Think about where you want to go in the future. Where do you want to go in Unpassive? What passion do you have? Start building those bricks for you. Start laying that foundation in this massive foundation of Unpassive. And I think you'll be so surprised at where you can go using Unpassive as the tool to get you whatever it might be. And it could be anything. It could be whatever passion you have or whatever you love. Or I remember back when the pandemic came and it was pretty bleak. I mean, everybody, the world shut down. And I remember, you know, you're working, you're doing stuff. And I, I was always doing stuff around passive. But once in a while you think, man, what, what am I gonna do? I remember Red started that cooking show I love cooking shows. I know it sounds crazy, but he would do it and people would go to it and all that. It broke up the time and, and people enjoyed it. I mean, it was a lot of, it, it was somewhere to go. And that's what I'm saying about now. Don't look at what Marty's doing, Red's doing, Chris is doing. That's, it's not relevant to you. Look at what you want to do. What is your passion? What do you think about? What do you really like? Go out there and start doing it. Lori Lund loves horses. You could start a club about horses. No no joke. Uh, I, I would go out and start looking ahead for you and then build onto that. And you're going to find, believe it or not, every nationality 
everybody with different jobs, different backgrounds are in unpassive right now. There's doctors, there's lawyers, there's policemen, there's firemen, there's people that write, there's people that whatever. So you get a group, a club going, you could gather a lot of people. And remember, unpassive hasn't started yet. They never really got started as far as I see. They they start they they put it in gear back in September first, but because of outside sources, uh, we got a flat tire. It wasn't because of us. The tires getting fixed. We're doing what we can. But what I'm saying is, get ready for where you're going, not where you are today. Stop thinking about just today or what am I doing right now. And and another thing, I know a lot of people say, and in in, in on passive also. There's some people that aren't very positive and they're negative and people want to point them out. Listen, I want to say something to you. When when Oberify comes along and everybody's verified, these people are going to be pinpointed. They're going to have a bullseye on them because you, you have to verify who you are. Either it will shut them up from being negative or they will be taken care of. So remember that. Don't, don't try to police... There's a lot of things going on, and I know people want to come and get rid of this. They look what this guy did. Don't focus on them. They're, they're irrelevant. And when Oberify comes in, they'll be taken care of. Trust me, because everybody's going to have you do something. They're going to know who did it. Boom, trace it. If you did something that's not right, you should be kicked out. But don't focus on that. Focus on you. Focus on what's good for you and your family and maybe build a team with somebody there's nothing wrong with, with, with forming a team. I did it with Mike and Dan. It was the best thing I ever did. So look at what you want to do and what's good for you. So that's my two cents for today. I'm going to turn it over to Chris Johnson. Very good, guys. Nice interview, a, a review read, Marty. Good words of wisdom. I got nothing. Ah, just kidding. I might have something. Just what, what these guys are talking about is, what is your next step? Have you actually thought about it? You know, we went through this... Uh, this crazy uh, virus thing. And what it actually did is it was a sad thing, but it also opened up the eyes to businesses, to the world. Um, and I thought just last couple minutes is, what is my next step? What if it ever happens again, just in case? Because the odds are it could happen again. Uh, it's a new different kind of war, you might want to call it. And you uh, you took the step into to unpassive. Now, you had no idea that that was going to happen when you were in unpassive. Nobody knew. But again, it opened up the eyes. What did it open up the eyes to? It opened up the eyes to every business in the world saying, we don't need buildings anymore. People can work from home. Okay, bottom line. And all those companies are still intact of keeping their people at their house, running their business from their house. They save on utilities, rent. They save on a lot of things. And the uh, the person that gets to stay home, excuse me, I think, which I think most of them think they're pretty lucky. They don't have to gas, put gas in the car to drive to work. But it also opened up the minds of everywhere in the world is how powerful the internet and, and we say social media is and what really can be done with it. AI is here. AI is here. It's been around a long time. Now, Ash Bafara has, well, let's say molded it into a way that's going to help every single business run out there, especially if all your employees are at home, because now they're going to have the tools with that AI induced fiber optics. And I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to technology, but they're going to have the tools to give to their employees to perform better in their house, to build their business in more, even more, and also that direct traffic. So every time there's something bad happens, something good always comes out of it. Now, a lot of bad came from that virus. Uh, it pitted the world against the world. It made people hate people. Hey, man, give up on that. Don't let people, politicians, religious figures allow you to hate someone. There's no reason to hate. And passive is here to get rid of the hate. I have to truly say that. Since, since I've been in passive, oh, I've had discussions with people in passive. We don't always agree. We agree to disagree. And that's that's part of it. 
but I don't hate anybody. I can never hate anybody because of something that's going on. But I believe right now, <coughs> excuse me, as sick as I cough in here, I'm getting better. The world and your time is once. We only get one shot at this. You want to go through the world, you know, your life working like I did for a long time, like Marty did, like Red did, like a lot of us do? Or do you want to take a chance and jump into something that's going to not only just give you freedom and time, but it's going to help you save a lot of people in this world? Hey, right now, you know what the percentages of people out there right now that are severely depressed because of this freaking virus? They, they literally lost their jobs. They lost their homes. Divorce rate went through the roof. Alcoholism, drug addicts. They had no place to go. All right? I believe in passive is going to be that place for everything that's wrong out there, a place to go. I think Ash Fire will have something set up for everything. Every kind of thing you can think of that's uh, hurting somebody. I think he really wants to set that up. Now, Ash Fire is tackling the whole world. He really is tackling the whole world. And you just might, right now what you're seeing is, oh, I can't wait to earn that income. That's what we see right now. Open your freaking mind up. I'm telling you, sorry about the freaking. But we do not open our minds up big enough, man. God gave us a brain and we don't use them. You jumped in this company to earn an income, which you know darn well is going to happen. Now you realize that on passive is going to open up minds to people from all over the world in every single country, regardless of religion, race, whatever. You know what that's going to do? It's going to stop people from hating people. That's a passive. Whether you believe it or not, that's a passive. But businesses, you better be ready for the greatest tools you've ever seen to improve your company. A passive isn't about a passive. A passive is about building a single person up, a group of people, a business, a foundation, a fundraiser, you name it, a pass is going to be there. We're going to be doing things that you've never seen before. I can honestly say that. I'm talking about this whole company. I'm talking about people from all over the world who don't even have a high school education who are in this. We got people that are rocket scientists in this. We got, a, we got some dentists in here. We got a lot of engineers. We got teachers, we got chefs, we got managers, we got auto workers, we got retired folks. I would care about one thing, changing the world. And how do you change the world? By You start by bettering yourself first. Ask Mafar's words, fill up your own gas tank. Better yourself, you're going to be able to better the world. The bigger the smile you got, listen, I want to be around people that when I come walking in, they're going to be smiling all the time. Not saying, oh crap, here he comes again. Surround yourself with people that are always smiling when they see you. And it's going to be pretty. Look at look at how I got Marty and Red smiling. See? That's why I surround these guys with me because they're always smiling. Don't, don't give up because something takes a little longer than you wanted to. Can you imagine if, if, if NASA gave up? Or let's say Elon gave up. He's still going. He's crashed rockets. He's burned. He's he's Woo! Billions of dollars, and he never stopped. He just keeps going. Ash Mafara, he's not going to stop until this is right. He's not going to stop till we're all smiling. And now that's my guarantee. Marty DeGarmo, back to you. Red Redfern, back to you. <laughs> Obviously, he's very busy. Actually, uh... <laughs> Um, I was going to say anyway, uh, on the back of what you and Marty have been, both been saying, is that I was on uh, Comfort Comforts and Andy Burks' uh, uh, show last night. And what a great topic uh, Comfort came up with. And it was called Choices. And it really got me thinking. Even, I mean, I, I was getting myself extremely excited talking about uh, choices within On Passive. But that was, that was the, the reason I loved it so much is because. The whole of your journey in on passive is about choice. You can choose to do whatever you like. Nobody is telling you what to do. It is your choice. You can choose to be completely 
uh, passive with this business? Are you going to be successful? Yes, you are. But it's also going to take a lot longer than somebody who has made the choice to do something with themselves and for this business. And the one thing I will say about that choice is if you are choosing to be passive and let it do its thing and all the rest of it, you cannot take away from the people who have decided to do something with the business and you see them a lot further down the road than where you are. That's their choice. It's your choice. And I absolutely loved the, 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 the topic of choices because I've made my choice a long, 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 long time ago with On Passive. I decided this is my home. This is my choice. I'm staying come hell or high water with On Passive. And I know many of you out there have made exactly the same choice. Now, why have we made that choice to stick with On Passive through thick and thin, to take the ridicules, the ups, the downs, the waiting, the all of the names and all the rest of it. Why have we made this choice to stick with on passive? Because we see the vision. We see through Ashma Farah what he is trying to achieve. And we want to be part of that. And that's why I chose a long, long time ago to stick with this. But it's a choice. And that's why I love the topic is because at the end of the day, and I've said the end of the day, and I don't say that very often nowadays, do I? Come on, let's face it. It is a choice. But one thing's for sure is if you choose to jump into on passive feet first, embrace everything that it has to offer, to take it all on board, to use the tools, to use the experience, everything you can utilize and leverage, you are going to be successful because everything is there for you in one place you will not find products like this outside of the ecosystem and that is guaranteed because Ashmi Farrell will make sure they are the best that's it for me back to you Marty beautiful Chris are you done sir all right um yeah well we're gonna wrap this up I just got a text from Ash Obviously, he wanted to try to make it, but he's traveling right now, and he's actually going to another meeting. There will probably be some updates in the next couple of days, so keep your eyes peeled. Uh, it doesn't have to be here, but that is what he told me. So pay attention. Uh, things are going very, things are moving ahead. Trust me. Um, but anyway, he just could not make it today. But he just told me, he goes, uh, we'll have some things to share in the next couple of days. So that's fantastic. Anyway, have a great day. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, and we will see you all tomorrow.